Capricorn, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings, so if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button, that way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. I'm going to be doing you versus them today, uh, and then I'll go back to the past, present and future, because it's good to change things up. Okay, Capricorn? So this could be an energy that you're just, you know, just you've been recently dealing with, or it could be someone that you've known for longer, okay? Uh, so just keep that in mind. So can I get um, a card for Capricorn's person? It's the Seven of Swords in reverse, okay. Um, can I get a card for Capricorn, please? Capricorn. It's the Two of Wands with the King of Swords in reverse. Okay. Can I get a card for your person? Death in reverse. Hmm. That's quite interesting. The Seven of Swords in reverse and Death in reverse. Can I get a card for Capricorn, please? The Page of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. That's your uh, card there. It's showing up in your person's energy. And it's the Hierophant. Okay. And now the Shared Mutual. The Four of Swords in Reverse is a Shared Mutual. Another card. The Six of Wands. Interesting. Okay. So I feel like your person got the Seven of Swords in Reverse with Death in Reverse. There's something... So it's like they haven't walked away okay something could be unfinished here but they're viewing you as this queen of pentacles okay there's someone that's very um loving and very nurturing but um you know you could be independent you seem like you know you have your eyes closed could be feeling carefree um or just standing your ground okay standing in your power here as the queen of pentacles and you're very much on your person's mind here but um you have the Two of Wands with the King of Swords in reverse. So there could be a delay in making a decision here, um, possibly in regards to this connection or towards something. So when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's going on here. Um, there could be little to no communication, but I see with the Page of Wands, you're pursuing the things that, you, that you, you're passionate about. Um, again, an element of feeling carefree, as you can see. Um, you could be having a lot of fun here. And then again, the hair font. You see this person, the way they're laughing with joy. Um, this is just, uh, <laughs> you could be having a lot of fun. Enjoying life, pursuing the things that you, you enjoy, that you're passionate about. Okay? But for the shared mutual, I see the four of swords in reverse and the six of wands. Uh, six of Wands, interesting. I gotta really clarify this because the Four of Swords, if it was in the upright, it's talking about healing, right? So maybe things need to be healed in this connection, okay? But at the same time, I feel like there is a, there it's there is positivity here with the Six of Wands, like there's a potential of healing things in this connection, okay? Victory. It's possibly somebody wants a reconciliation here, okay? But let's clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse. You could just see that this, this person sees you in a very high regard. Okay. The 
they see you as a stable energy. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse. The Star in reverse. Hmm. So there is there's something that needs to be healed in this connection with the Star card in reverse. Um, so that could be the reason why the Four of Swords is showing up in reverse. Temperance. So it seems like someone does want balance here, okay? Um, your person wants balance, possibly to heal this connection here, okay? But the temperance in the star talks about balance. Let's clarify the king of swords in reverse. There we go, the three of swords in reverse. Hmm. So you are... you're trying to you've gotten over this heartache okay with the three of swords the queen of pentacles in reverse you're showing up in the queen of pentacles in the upright and here you're showing up as the queen of pentacles in reverse um so this could be you getting over this this heartbreak but at the same time um this could have been hard for you. So if you were dealing with uh, some past hurt or if this person did break your heart here with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like, um, you know, you, there's a choice that you have to make in order to kind of regain um, your sense of self here. Okay. I think you have to put in, in the work towards self-care given the fact that this disconnect could have uh, been quite hard, right? Painful. So I do see you overcoming that, but the King of Swords is showing up in reverse. So definitely, you know... So this heartbreak could have done that to you, where it took away your sense of self, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be the connection. Um, if your person's getting the star in reverse, right? If this is talking about wanting to heal this connection, okay? But let's clarify the de let's clarify death in reverse. It's too many cards. The page of wands. Well, they did. They got the page of wands as well here. So you have sparked an interest in your person. Um, they could also be pursuing the things that they're passionate about as well. So this is talking about starting anew with the Page of Wands. This could be what your person wants, right? To start afresh. But let's clarify the Page of Wands here. Ah, but the Queen of Swords. So where you sparked an interest in your person, right? Uh, they wanting to start afresh. Uh, you could have your guard up here as the Queen of Swords, okay? So this could be you um, not being so loving and nurturing towards this connection, okay? Given the fact that this person probably broke your heart here. Uh, so now you're showing up as this Queen of Swords, okay? So you could be, you could have your guard up. You could be standing firmly in, uh, you know, in your power here, kind of, you know, there is some level of resistance when it comes to this person. Um, let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles, but they're still viewing you as this very loving and nurturing person. They see you in a very high regard. Yeah, but look at that. It's the King of Swords in reverse. So I see the King of Swords in reverse twice. This is interesting. So it, this is possible that there could be little to no communication, or it's just like you're not really taking any action towards this person. Um, it's just like you're doing your own thing here with a, as a Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Uh, let's clarify the Hierophant card. Four of Swords. So you are healing, okay, uh, with the Four of Swords. So there is stagnant energy on your side. Like I said, it's like you're not taking any action towards this person. Um... You could be resting, getting more rest. Let's get another card. Yeah, the Five of Wands in reverse. It's like you don't want any sort of conflict here with the Five of Wands. You're really focused on enjoying yourself, okay? 
So let's clarify the Four of Swords in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there seems to be... Uh, I, I don't think the situation between the two of you are healed here because it's the, showing the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, right? So there's no happy family dynamic, no abundance, right? And there you go, the Nine of Swords. So this could be making someone anxious, okay? It could be keeping them up at night, okay? Um, so let's clarify the Six of Wands. At first I was um, a little bit confused, you know, it, but it seemed to make sense here now that once I saw the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So for some of you, you know, there could be advice, you know, like it's best, you know, if even though your heart was broken, right, uh, attention needs to be put towards self here, right, self-care. But for some of you, I feel like you, because your heart was broken, you, you, you kind of pulled your energy that, you know, that loving, nurturing energy back. And now you're kind of showing up as this queen of swords, right? <coughs> Let's clarify the six of wands. The empress. Okay, so you're really showing up in your power here as the empress. So this actually could be your energy with the Six of Wands, wanting victory, wanting success, right? Moving forward with and the Empress. Um, really coming across as being someone that's standing in their power, very loving, very nurturing here, okay? Um, so somebody could want a reconciliation, possibly realizing your worth here, but let's clarify the Star card in reverse with Temperance. Just to get more insight, star in reverse with temperance. Okay, let's, and there we go. That, so that is your person. Look at them, they have anxiety here. They're worried. They're thinking about this connection quite heavily. They wanna heal things, okay? Um, so there could be some unresolved issues here. They want balance. They're trying to remain patient. Um, let's clarify the two of, um, the three of swords in reverse with the queen of pentacles in reverse. There you go. The ten of swords in reverse. Yeah, there seems to be something unfinished here. Okay. Uh, with the ten of swords showing up in reverse, you could be trying to get over this heartbreak, this pain. So this person could have thrown you off here. Okay. It could have had a profound effect on you with the queen of pentacles showing up in reverse. So let's clarify death in reverse with the page of wands. Look at that temperance in reverse. So this person is trying to remain patient, but it is causing them anxiety here. But it's like the temp temperance is showing up in reverse. So this is really talking about how like they, they are feeling restless. Okay, so this them having to be patient is causing them a lot of anxiety. Okay, they want to start afresh. Let's clarify the queen of swords with the page of wands. could be dealing with someone that has anxiety or they could be you know somewhat un unbalanced here okay look at that the seven of pentacles in reverse it's like you're not really wanting to invest your time into this situation i think you're very self-focused okay um this person possibly confuses you okay let's clarify the queen of pentacles with the king of swords in reverse these two cards wanted to come out Two of Swords with the Seven of Swords. So you could be blocking this person's energy, okay? Uh, really not taking any action, possibly not speaking to them. Definitely seems like there could have been lies and deception with the Seven of Swords, and you just don't want any of that. So I see with this Queen of Pentacles, you know, closing one's eyes and just turning away. So that could be making your person anxious. I don't see them actively taking any action here yeah you could be throwing yourself into work okay uh you could be you know there could be contemplation on your part with the four of swords and the eight of pentacles that you know that's talking about contemplation possibly thinking about what you want in life okay so this could be you thinking about life what you want what your expectations are but let's clarify the four of swords in reverse with the ten of pentacles in reverse and the nine of swords so this very well could be your person's energy. Oh, 
There you go, the King of Swords. So that's them. Wow, it's the King of Swords showing up twice here. Um, or this could be even you. So you could be blocking this person's energy. Okay. I feel like you, this is talking about the truth, wanting the truth, right? Being very determined. So you could have been dealing with someone that could have had control issues or they're just, you know, um, they're very stuck in their headspace. Okay, so you could be dealing with an air sign here. I see Sagittarius, I see Aquarius. Again, Sagittarius twice. Scorpio with death. Heavy air with the King of Swords showing up three times. Okay. Uh, let's clarify the Six of Wands with the Empress card. So I don't see uh, this person really actively... Look at that, the Two of Cups. So... <laughs> So someone could be viewing this as being a very special connection, wanting to heal things here, okay? Um, that seems like the active message here, wanting to heal things between the two of you. Look at that, but it's like the Ten of Pentacles showing up in reverse. So this person could be losing hope, okay? This could be causing them anxiety. Um... For them, they haven't detached or they haven't walked away. But this person, you could have, they could have, there could have been some sort of deception or lies here in the past. And you could be blocking that, right? Someone not being forthcoming or honest. Ten of Pentacles showing up twice. Yeah, it just seems like you're doing your own thing here. And it seems like you are resisting this person's energy. Very self-focused. Possibly thinking about what you want to do in life, right? Or what, you, what your expectations are. Don't see you wanting any sort of conflict here. Okay, so that's my reading for you, um, Capricorn. I hope you got better insight into the situation and I'll see you next time. Take care now.